Hello, and welcome to another video. This is just a quick video, and it's my, just not even top three or in any particular order, it's just three practical hiking tips for you, from me, tried and tested. Let's get into it. Number one, gaffer tape, gorilla tape, whatever you want to call it, it's tape. Wrap some of this tape around your hiking poles or just one pole because you can fit a decent amount of it on there. It doesn't weigh anything, it doesn't get in the way and it is excellent for a myriad of different uses. I've used it to, I've had sliced holes in my down jackets, I've used it to patch up them. You can patch up your tents. You could use it for first aid. There's all sorts of different things that you can do with it. And uh, it's definitely worth doing and spending a little bit of time just wrapping some around your hiking pole for in case you ever do need it. And that's as simple as that, and that's number one. Number two on the practical <laughs> hiking tip list is bread bags or little plastic bags to be used as camp shoes. When you get to camp at the end of a long day, instead of taking an extra pair of shoes or some Crocs or flip flops or whatever it may be, use the bread bags, put your dry socks on, bread bags over the socks and then you can put your feet back in your wet shoes. Your socks still stay dry. As much as it costs for two small loaves of bread, you chuck the bread bags on, your wet shoes go over the top, do all your stuff, off they come, and your feet are still dry, and it's taking up no room in your pack. It's a no-brainer. Number three, shoelaces. Tying your shoelaces. I mean, everyone takes it for granted, you know, you just you learn to tie your shoes when you're a nipper, and you never, you never second guess it. Especially with some hiking boots, my Solomon um, GTX, are they? Are they called GTX? Oh, my Solomon, the shoelaces, when not tied this way, would come undone. So when you're up and down the fells or mountains or whatever it may be, you can be guaranteed that your shoelaces aren't going to come undone. Because when you've got your backpack on, if it's a heavy backpack and your shoelace comes undone, oftentimes you might have to take your backpack off just to tie your shoelace because all that weight on your back, you might be going ass over elbow. <laughs> the usual way of tying shoelaces we go across like that we create a loop we go round through and then pull it on its side there and then often people will do a double but the problem with that is it's not quick release and it can be a bit of a pain to get off especially if you've got cold fingers. And with this knot, it's really simple. We're just tying it over again like that. Create the loop, we go round, pull it through a little bit, give yourself a little bit more of a loop there than the other side. And then we go round and through there again. A little bit of adjustment and there it is it's pretty simple now that won't work its way undone and it's also quick release so again over the top a loop we go round through and then we're going through again quick release and there it is so it's a simple tip but it is a tip nonetheless and it, uh, it's just a different way to tie your shoelaces so they're not going to come undone when they're clarted in mud and when you're uh, when you're halfway up a mountain and you don't want them to be coming undone that's my top three practical long distance hiking tips you're welcome i'll see you all again soon look after yourselves namaste
out of trouble. <clears throat>